There are some things on the interactive whiteboard um, in features of the Active Inspire software that we can use to give that impression of, of being magical. Um, so things that uh, necessarily don't behave the way that, that you would think that they do. And there's a great tool within Active Inspired called Magic Ink that I think, think fits into this bill um, very, very well. So what I've got on the page right here in front of you is just two um, snapshots or two, two images. And these were taken from Google Maps. So you can see on the top, I have a bird's eye view of our, an aerial photo. And on the bottom, we then have the map version as well. And then just place those one on top of the other. I've used maps for this one. This was just an example I took from a flip chart off Promethean Planet. But you could have um, two different images before and after. I've seen that done really well where um, we've had a, a image of um, a land mass that had undergone changes because of a, a natural disaster and behind it what it looked like before the natural disaster and then use this technique to be able to re reveal the changes. In your tools, you have something called Magic Ink. And Magic Ink allows me to just rub out an area of the top picture to reveal the bottom picture underneath. Or it gives that impression of me being able to rub it out to reveal the area underneath. What it actually does is it puts this object on my page. And the object is transparent on top layer items and translucent on middle layer, or it doesn't have an effect on middle or bottom layer items. So when setting up this page, I just needed to make sure that the picture I wanted to be able to look through is on the top layer of the software. So if we go into our object browser here, you can see that this image is on the top layer of the software, and the second image is on the middle layer of the software and that magic ink that I drew there, that shape I drew with the magic ink, you can see I can pick that up and move that around. So that sits on the top layer. It sees through that top image to what is on the middle layer underneath, but, but quite an effective technique. If I turn the page, this is another flip chart that I found on Promethean Planet that I really liked. So the class were studying orchestra and they were looking at the different instruments and different way an orchestra is set up. So I could do that same thing with my magic ink, open it up and be able to rub out different sections to see where um, different instruments would sit or people playing different instruments would sit. But what we can also do is use a little tool like this one here. Now this was made using an image and then um, using that magic ink in the middle and grouping it together. And what it then does is create this little tool where you can see through that top picture into what's underneath it. Okay, so very effective and, and as I say just kind of magical but what it does do is it grabs their attention, it gets their interest um, and that's what you want, the engagement and the motivation. This example here doesn't actually use images so you can see that um, you can very easily use the magic ink for text or um, numbers. So in this example we're looking at anagrams um, and we were just checking understanding of a topic that the class were doing on sound and seeing if they could remember some of the vocabulary that they'd learned. And to do this in a little bit more of a creative way, the teacher decided to use anagrams. So on the top is the anagram and underneath it is the correct answer um, just on the middle layer. So again, the anagram would be on the top layer and the and you can see here I've got lots going on um, and lots of objects on there so sometimes it's easier just to know I've got that grouped object if I want to check I can just make sure that I move that to the top layer that's on the top layer and underneath it is the um, is the correct answer and that one sits in the middle layer and then to check that once again I could just use my magic ink and I could just purely rub that out to reveal it underneath so I could get my class to come up, write down what they think it is, each of the, the anagrams are, or do this in their jotter, and then we could reveal the correct answer by um, using that magic ink. So this is another tool um, that I could use to reveal it, move that around and reveal what the correct answer is. Okay, so again, just gives it that little element of magic. Now I wouldn't spend hours, um, as you can, creating your own 
magic reveal tools such as the spyglass um, and that little hand one that I just showed you um, because there are um, people on Promethean planet, members on Promethean planet who have done this and created their own and what's great is that often not only can you get resource packs of these re reveal tools but you can also um, sometimes find flip charts where people have given instructions on how these can be used in, in pedagogical so if they're doing training within their school as well so what I recommend is you just do a search for magic ink or magic reveal tools um, and you should come up with a, a variety of resource packs and um, flip charts. The ones that I really like are by somebody called Kel Hathaway um, and uh, he's got um, a couple of really great resource packs. You can see this one is more magic reveal shapes that he used to create it. Okay, so another great tip.